How's it going everyone? Phil here from Furious Technology. If you have one of the newer iPhones without the home button in the middle right here, then this video is for you. For the purpose of this video, we're using the iPhone 12, but this will work for any of the newer phones from the iPhone 10 and up. There are two ways to shut down your iPhone. The first way, if we go into settings, we go to general, and then we scroll all the way to the bottom to shut down. If we tap shut down, and then we just slide to power off, and that will shut it right down. The second way to power off your iPhone, I find is a much easier way. All you have to do is hold either the volume down or the volume up button, and your power switch just right here on the side. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna use the volume down, so we're gonna hold that, and then we're gonna hold the power button. Just continue holding until you get that little screen right there that just pops up, and then you just slide to power off. Turning your iPhone back on is very simple. All you're gonna do is just hold that power on off button just right here. Just continue holding it down until you see the Apple logo. There it is. And you just wait and it'll turn back on. Now, why would you hard reset your phone? It's very good for your software to give it a nice refresh at least once a week. Also, it's very good for your battery for the longevity of it. And as well as if your phone is frozen and you can't get it back on or an app is stuck of some sort, then you should hard reset your phone. The process is quite easy, so follow along right here. All we're gonna do is press the volume up press the volume down and then hold your power side button right here. Continue holding even when you see that right there. Just keep on holding, keep on holding and you'll be able to see the Apple logo in a second. And where is it? Here we go, it's coming up, keep holding, there it is. All right, now you can just release and let your phone restart and you're good to go. We'll quickly do that again so you guys can see. Just keep in mind you don't need to hold these two buttons right here, you only have to hold your power button. So it's just gonna be a press of volume up, a press of volume down, and then a hold of your power switch and just continue holding, don't let go. You have to continue holding until you see that Apple logo. It's gonna go black here in a second there it is keep holding don't release it and you should see the apple logo there in just a moment there it is and now you can release that power button and you're good to go and now your phone turns back on and you are good to go everything should be refreshed and you can continue using your iphone So let's say your phone is acting up, you've done all of the resets as far as soft reset, hard reset, and your phone is still buggy, it's slow, the battery is draining, apps aren't working properly, so you need to factory reset your phone. I'm gonna tell you how to do that exactly right now. So the first thing you're gonna need is a computer. I've got a MacBook Pro here, but you can do this on a PC. So if you have a laptop PC or a desktop PC or a desktop MacBook, you can do it with either one of those, you just need to download the latest version of iTunes. So I've got the latest iTunes version downloaded on my MacBook Pro right here. And you're gonna wanna make sure that your uh, power is plugged in if it's a laptop. You don't want your power to die during this process. So make sure it's plugged in. And also you're gonna need a lightning cable right here. I've got my lightning cable and it is plugged right into one of the USBs on the side. As a reminder, before you start this reset process, everything on your iPhone will be gone, erased, so it's gonna delete all your pictures, all your contacts, and everything on the phone, unless you have backed it up through iCloud or previously backed it up on your computer itself. And also as a reminder, this will not remove the Apple iCloud lock. So if you found someone's phone or it's a lost or stolen phone or something, it's not going to remove the iCloud account. It will just factory reset the phone, but it's still gonna ask you to log into the iCloud account. So make sure you know the actual password to to the iCloud account on your phone. So now that we're all set up and ready to go, let's start the factory reset process. You're gonna press the volume up, press the volume down, and hold down your power on off switch. You're gonna continue holding it even though you see that slide to power off. 
don't worry about that. Just continue holding it and it's gonna power off. Keep holding, don't let go. You're gonna see the Apple logo here in a second and continue holding again. Do not let go, just keep going, just keep holding. It's probably about 20 or 30 seconds that you have to continue holding that side power button. And then you're gonna see that right there. Now you can just release and let go. So that's a little computer icon. This means that it's now in the reset mode or some of you might call it the DFU mode. So we're gonna go ahead and continue now on the computer. So it says that it needs to either restore or update my phone. We're gonna hit the restore button and that's gonna actually download the software. So the next step, it does say restore and update. So we can do both of these processes at the same time. It's gonna update my software to the latest software as well as restore my phone. If your software is already on the latest software, you might just only have the restore step, which is perfectly fine. It'll actually go a little bit faster. So we're gonna tap the restore and update, and then we're just gonna agree to the terms right here and just let it do its thing. It's gonna have to download the software, so depending on how fast your internet is, and then it's gonna do the whole restore process. So we're gonna speed it up a little bit until we get to the next step. If you are required to update the software on your iPhone, you can check the status of the download just right up in the top right hand corner. There'll be a little arrow with a circle going around it. Just click on that and then you can see the status of the update right now. I've downloaded about half of it with about four minutes remaining. So depending on how fast your internet goes, you'll just have to wait for that to complete. So the software completed downloading and it went from the DFU mode into the Apple logo with a loading screen right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and just let that load up. It's gonna do its thing. You can see on my computer, it says restoring iPhone software. So it's gonna take its time to finish that process and then we'll get back. As a reminder, during this process, do not unplug your phone and make sure your power is plugged in. You don't want your phone to turn off or get unplugged because that's gonna mess it up. You just wanna let it continue doing this process. We've got the message now that says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. So there you go. You can see it's now just starting to re reset right here. And once it's completely restarted and reset, it should go right to your beginning home screen where you actually have to start setting up your iPhone. And as you see on my computer itself, it does say that the phone is activation locked and it's asking me to log into my Apple ID and password to access the phone on my computer again. So that's just another reminder that it's not gonna remove your Apple ID from the phone. It's still a restarting and I'll be able to access that and enter that all into my phone itself. We're just gonna wait for it to continue restarting. And there we go. You can see it's back at the very fresh factory restart screen. We're just gonna swipe up and now I can continue with the setup process. You can now, if you want, unplug your phone. So not a problem. You don't need to leave it plugged into your computer right here. So we've got it unplugged and I'm gonna go Canada and I'm gonna set up manually. And I'm gonna show you right here where it tells you to log into my Apple ID. Let's just go ahead and type in my Wi-Fi password. There we go. I've connected to my iPhone. It says it's going to activate my phone right here. And here we go. Here is activation lock. So again, as a reminder, I'm gonna have to enter in my Apple ID passcode and username, and then we can continue with the setup process. And now I've entered in my correct username and password, and we can just continue on setting up the phone. And there we go. My phone is now completely factory reset, fresh from the beginning. So it's a nice brand new phone, and that should correct any sort of software glitches freezing or battery life issues. If this video was helpful, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below as well as hit that thumbs up button and make sure you guys subscribe as well and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.